हाय गुड इवनिंग हाय गुड इवनिंग होप आई एम ऑडिबल टू ऑल ऑफ यू गुड इवनिंग ऑल ऑफ यू प्लीज कंफर्म आई एम ऑडिबल आई एम एबल यू आर एबल टू व्यू मी यू आर एबल टू व्यू द स्क्रीन जस्ट प्लीज कंफर्म ऑन द चैट बॉक्स थैंक यू थैंक यू थैंक यू थैंक यू सो नाउ लेट मी डिस्कस अबाउट द टूडेज टॉपिक दैट इज अ गुड बिहेवियर प्रैक्टिसेस इट्स अ पार्ट ऑफ गुड मैन्युफैक्चरिंग प्रैक्टिसेस सी द पॉइंट हियर इज व्हाई आई सिलेक्टेड दिस टॉपिक बिकॉज वी नॉर्मली डिस्कस अबाउट द गुड मैन्युफैक्चरिंग प्रैक्टिसेस गुड लेबोरेटरी प्रैक्टिसेस गुड इंजीनियरिंग प्रैक्टिसेस ऑल जी एक्सपी ट्रेनिंग्स but the basis of all this training is the good behavior practices you can develop the technical expertise you can develop the technical expertise or you can reduce the human errors by putting the automations or you can increase the expertise by providing the trainings and all but the main point is with respect to increase in the behavior or evaluation of the behavior you can you need to put more focus on developing the behavior aspects of the people because if anything is done from the inside then only it will be the correct one so that is the reason today i am here to discuss about the good behavior practices which is a part of of course gmp good manufacturing practices so what are the good behavior practices that we are going to discuss today before uh, you know uh, moving ahead i just want to inform you that whatever questions you have during our discussion please i request you to put your questions in the chat box or the comment section i will revert back to your questions on chat box only okay so what we are going to discuss today basically we discuss about the importance of topic that why this topic is important today then a brief introduction about me a short cv of 2 to 3 slides why i am putting this 2 to 3 slides here as a short discussion because <clears throat> many companies use this training record as a external training so they need to have the uh, my cv as a part of the external training requirement so that is the reason if they put this um, you know uh, reference of this uh, training as a part of external training also no problem because my cv is also part of the training video so that is what the point here i just want to share with you so the point here is importance of the topic nowadays you can see that there are many observations given by the regulatory authorities uh, to the different companies the point here is whether the people are not technically enough the answer is yes people are technical they know what to do how to do then problem is where problem is with the right attitude or problem is with respect to the behavior of the people that is the reason i am here to discuss this topic this topic is please very important please be focused up to the end of this whole session because you will not find this training in any guideline so how to improve the you know um, <clears throat> behavior how what are the key behavior aspects that we are going to discuss and also we will touch upon upon the behavior aspects in data integrity also nowadays many companies are getting the observations on data integrity so we will discuss that how data integrity can be resolved or how we can improve the activities based on the improving the behavior aspect so that is what we are going to discuss so please be with me and uh, let us move to the <coughs> brief uh, introduction about me so my name is itendra kumar shah i am the cgmp compliance consultant trainer and auditor from nadh plus gxp compliance services and uh, this is my brief profile i don't want to put more time in this but as it should be the part of this uh, video training presentation so i am putting here about uh, me a short cv 
I work in a different companies which includes India as well as the some multinational companies also and these are some of the major work com major companies where I work and with this let us start with the actual discussion on today's topic so basically this today's training is I'm, I want to give some example here that how the behavioral can change. And let me tell you my dear friends that this whatever I am going to tell about this story whatever is appeared in the picture. It is based on the real life example. Real life example of my own. Okay. So what happened uh, when I started my career I was working with some one one of the production person he was with, I, I was from quality person quality department and he was from production and uh, this story is about you know the uh, more than two decades uh, over now 20 more than 20 years happened now for this story and I uh, I think the concerned person if uh, go through this video I think that person may remember that with whom I uh, you know whom I am referring so that person can identify so uh, you know we worked together he was really a good person as the, from the production department but the point is you know he was not serious with respect to the quality when he was working in that area he was only focused on the productivity how he can get the high production that's it I will give some example when I was you know I involved in the uh, checking the dispense goods so he was not bothered about to check the dispense good he just in the impression or he used to even tell me that okay QA has checked that means it is okay that's it same way with respect to the line clearance when the clean equipments are checked so he will not bother to check the clean equipments this was the practically the you know the you can say the behavioral issue with respect to that person otherwise the person was very good good knowledgeable good very good very talented but the person was you know not much focused with respect to the quality aspects and he was not much serious about what can go wrong due to his misbehavioral on these aspects so he overall when you see that that person you can say my colleague you know he was not focused with respect to the quality he was with the thought that quality person is there so maintaining the quality of the product ensuring the quality of the product basic uh, specifically responsibility is with the QA like I, me you know that time I was with him so responsibility lies with me not that with that person that was uh, you know that was the, his thought and Always there were discussions uh, between me and that my colleague always on the basis of this uh, we used to discuss a lot but he was not changing you know he uh, uh, behavior was the same for some months then what happened this is the real time story I am telling you that how the person's behavior is changed what happened that uh, myself and uh, that uh, person were in the night shift during that uh, period and we got the call from the office that in the morning we need to be present there is some uh, serious problem happen so being we were in the night shift still you know there was a call so we visited uh, uh, our uh, production there was a meeting was going on we attended the meeting and we come to know that in one of the product while for manufacturing or formulation the API of the another product was added and that time from quality assurance I was there from production he was there <coughs> and uh, also the related all the uh, departmental people across functional people attended this meeting and then when the point was raised that the material of the second product or the next product was added in it and the material was of a very small quantity of API which leads to sudden reduction of the blood sugar level in the body 
and the quantity of api per batch was very small about maybe you know um, 50 to 60 grams you know whole batch and that time i raised the problem that the person has a habit that he will not be much serious or small packs he will put in his own pocket just to avoid that the material should not get uh, you know lost so he put in his pocket that was the wrong practice he was doing and i raised this multiple times this is the way i was discussing in the meeting and the person was listening he was not doing anything else and when he saw the batch number of the product he got shocked the reason is in that company we were having a procedure that if you need any medication recommended by the your physician so you can present that uh, uh, um, recommendation letter or you can say the prescription letter by the um, from the doctor to the company hr and you can get the product manufactured by our own company that was the policy so company was issuing some quantity of the medicines required for the people based on the prescriptions given by the physician that was the practice we were having in that company so he when we were discussing about this problem and mix up of the next product or api and all he was just looking at the batch number and uh, he got shocked let me tell you that he was in the downing you can see the last picture you know the if you can see the cursor you can see this picture he was in the complete gowning he just ran outside he took somebody's uh, vehicle uh, lift and he wished to home because the same batch number the product of the same product of the same batch was taken by this person for his mother he rushed to the mother he asked mother told that uh, she has not taken the medicine from that batch and it is kept there itself because the previous uh, me uh, medicine was in use so could not it consume so the next new batch is not yet consumed like that she confirmed so he took the medicine and he again come back to the office and he told all the scenario to the senior team or the senior team of the company that this is what happened and that is why he rash outside and uh, you know took the medicine from her mother from his mother so if the contaminated medicine contaminated product might have consumed by his mother then you he understood that what was the repercussion immediately reduction in the blood sugar she might have got the hypoglycemic shock or what what any anything you know any any serious hazards can happen this is this incident happened and after that okay whatever actions are taken you know it was thoroughly investigated this issue and all and i had so so many kappa were taken and all uh, by following the quality management system it is okay that is a part of the following the qms taking the kappa and all but with respect to behavior of that person i want to tell you that there was a big change in that person after this scenario after this incident you know the person becomes so serious with respect to the quality requirement that first he used to check all the things first he used to check the cleanliness of the equipment first he used to check the dispense material one time two time and then he used to call me and he used to request me yeah please you also please check i have checked it but please you also check it this is the way his uh, uh, complete uh, uh, behavioral was changed due to a small incident and now he is uh, in a very big position now in a very good company and this is a practical example happened in front of me and so same example i am sharing to so many people that please understand that whatever medicine you are manufacturing or wherever you are involved in manufacturing testing storage uh, whatever you know whatever in the field you know where you are working indirectly or directly in the pharmaceutical you are involved in the manufacturing of the drug product so 
that product that medicine may go in the market and from market it may come to your home and it will be taken by your loved ones maybe your kids your mother your wife your parents any anybody else your girlfriend any any anyone else so please understand this that whenever uh, and please inform to all your team members that whatever you are doing activity with respect to the testing manufacturing storage or even in the quality checks the product you need to make and you need to inform to all that whatever this product is getting manufactured in the plant tomorrow the same product will come to your home only and it will be taken by your loved ones so that is the reason please ensure whatever you are doing is correct thing so once you make the people aware you know the behavior of that people will really you know will play a very important role in following the gmp principles so basically that is what i always tell that gmp you know uh, it's not a part of you know training and all it's basically the you know behavior aspect of that particular organization so this was the short story i just want to share with you so uh, that's the reason i shared with you and a simple couple of slides i want to touch upon with the uh, introduction about the good manufacturing practices and as per the GMP, the definition is very clear. GMP is the part of quality assurance, which ensures that the medicinal products are consistently produced, consistently produced and controlled to the quality standards, appropriate to their intended use and as required by the marketing authorization or product specification. This is just a brief on the GMP. I don't want to put more focus here. You are you all are well aware about the things so basically gmp means you know it's it's you know it's not a set of uh, rules basically you know it's a working philosophy or it's a way of working i will say that gmp is you know like a common sense instead of telling all these things gmp is nothing but a common sense which we need to put a th our own thought process and we need to evaluate whether it is give it will give the consistent quality of the product and whether the quality of the product is maintained or not during entire operation that we need to put our thought process so uh, the gmp revolves with respect to the quality efficacy and safety so this is what the presented on this slide these are the some introductory points so i am not much discussing here so same thing i was telling hope the slides are visible to you uh, it may take some uh, couple of seconds to you know uh, appear on the screen due to some delay things so GMP is not a set of rules that have to be followed but a working philosophy a way of working that is what I was telling you and same thing is presented on this uh, slide and the next I want to tell you that if we not follow this GMP aspects then what will happen if we not follow the GMP aspects so this is what presented here failure to follow the CGMP principles could result in losing our product and production licenses now here the point is very important if we not follow the GMP principles we may lose our product product lose, losing the product means today suppose I am exporting a product to some other country maybe FDA us maybe to the us okay or maybe to europe and if that agency us fda or ugmp comes to my site and verifies whether i am following the gmp principles or not and come to know that i am not following then that agency will clearly tell that we don't need your product we don't need because you are failed to follow the cgmp regulations so this way we may lose our product in their country and second is we may lose the production licenses also for example <clears throat> if the indian fda or the local fda visits to the plant or suppose if it is a us based company and us fda visits to plant 
then the manufacturing license also will be seized by the local health authority so you may not able to manufacture the product also because production license also may be seized if you not follow to cgmp requirement and that is the reason i am just telling you that cgmp basically it's a common sense you know we need to apply a thought process and if we not follow that common sense and of course by referring the guidelines there are so many guidelines then we may face this type of problem hope you are with me again i am telling you if you have any questions you can please uh, put in the comment section chat box i will uh, reply to you okay so uh, now we are moving towards the behavioral aspects okay i am not discussing much on the basic gmp and what is meant by gmp good manufacturing practices and all okay you all are aware okay i am now moving towards the behavioral aspects and why it is important that is what i want to i am coming to that point okay so here there are five p of gmp like people process product procedure and premises so here the main point is with respect to the people now the people error made by the people errors made by the people or any non conformance by the people what are the reasons and behavior of the people will play a very important role on functioning of the people so that is the reason we are here to discuss about the behavioral aspect of the uh, people and that is the reason we are discussing about the five p's of this and now let us start our actual discussion or today's discussion with respect to the behavioral skills and we will discuss now one by one all the key behavioral requirements or key behavior requirements and the first is it depends on people doing the right thing in the right way at the right time so always remember that whatever training we are giving to the people or instructions we are giving to the people we always tell people that please do the right thing in the right way and at the right time so if i am doing any right thing but in the wrong way not acceptable if i am doing the right thing in the right way but not at the right time then again it is wrong so always remember that i have to do the things right things always in the right way and right time this way we need to tell to all people second point is something interesting you know about the key behavioral and that is what always think about what you are doing always think when you are giving training to your team maybe from quality control quality assurance warehouse production engineering hr any 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 function in that function any person even always tell that why you are doing that things why you are doing for example the person is involved in the testing of the drug product so why you are testing because after you are testing you will ensure that there is no uh, you know impurities in you in our drug product and also you need to ensure that the potency is a correct one so that when the material goes into the market product goes into the market it will work as per the expected level that is the reason you are ensuring the product with the right quality same way when you are discussing about to the production you need to tell that you need to develop the product or you need to manufacture the product with the right intention so that you will get the 100% potency and uh, you need to um, control the process such a way that you can control the impurity generations so this way that is the reason you are working here to ensure this so each person the person who is doing the housekeeping in the area cleaning in the area is reducing the bio burden of the area and helping the uh, protecting the product from contamination of the product so you know my point here is everybody is important who is working in the plant starting from entry into the plant and from exit to the plant all people 
all people including the engineering p team they have to provide the required utilities continuous basis so they, they, they because you know it also impacts on the product quality so if any change among all these things any person not follows his or her activities or responsibilities then we may not get the quality product a very good example is there i have put a picture photograph from one of the movie many people might have seen this movie munna by mbbs so you can see that the <coughs> actor hugs the person who is normally cleaning the toilets in the hospital and he tells that my dear friend you are doing really a good job you are doing very good thing you ensure the sanitation due to that many people many patients don't have the infections and they are getting recovered so you are doing very good job he explained to that person and he make the that person aware that what he is doing at what extent it is important so same job what he was doing since years same he will he is going to do in future also but the way the way the way he was do he started doing this job what more focused way his intention his attitude with respect to the work got changed same way we should also inform to all our colleagues that what you are doing is very very important so whatever you are doing it's not like that you know you are not doing anything else you you are not doing any important thing i am doing the important thing no whoever in the plant working is equally important to manufacture the quality product this we need to give message to all the company across all the levels that every one is important the task perform each person are important to maintain the quality of the product then only the behavioral will improve the people's behavior will improve i am discussing only with respect to the pharmaceuticals to develop the behavioral okay the next is always adhere to the governing standards for the area you are working here also you know when procedure is there governing procedure is provided by the organization clean gowns are provided by the organizations i agree with that but whether they are followed properly that depends on the behavior for example whether i am wearing the gown but if i am taking the sleeves back is it acceptable i am taking the sleeves like this no this is not acceptable so it depends on the key behavior so the point is if my some hands are getting exposed i need to wear the gloves before touching the product or uh, if it is the requirement of the area then i have to follow that so always remember that the key behavioral practice plays very important role in gowning also because most of the observations are with respect to the behavior in the gowning like for example inspector observed that the person you was using the damaged gown or most of the time the velcro will be there in the gown and the velcro will have the uh, uh, you know some um, hair stick to the velcro so it depends on behavior you know when i am taking the gown before wearing i need to verify whether it is good or not whether any problem is there or not whether there are some loose threads or not whether there are some contaminants or not whether it is proper or damaged or not that i have to verify then only i have to wear it very clear so when it will come when you make that person aware that what you are doing my dear friend and why you need to wear the gown why you need to wear the apron so wearing the apron only not only to control the uh, you know the mix up or contact cross contamination and all cross contamination can be done by anything anything maybe due to the open hands maybe the improper gowning damaged gown that we should make aware 
the next with respect to the behavior you know the key behavior is the only perform those tasks that you are trained to carry out here the problem is you know always we don't like the job what we are doing i always like the job the x person is doing x person will always like the job done by the y person and y person will always like the job the z person is doing so we don't like the job at all our own job we only like the other person's job so what happened i don't like my job so i will i like the job of x person so i will try to monitor the x person how you do it then i will ask can i help you now x person will say yes you can help because his or her uh, work is reduced and i will start working of some task of response for which for which a task the responsibility is with the x person another person but i started doing this because i like that activity i like that function but here the problem is i am not trained on that i am not trained on that functions still i have started working on that so that is the reason we should i have written here that only perform those tasks that are trained to carry out so always remember that whatever activity you are doing it is very very important and if you want to have uh, other activities you want to involve in the other responsibilities discuss officially with your uh, department head or supervisor and revise your job description and then get training and then formally after getting the formalized training then you start working under some supervision for new task you got my point so these are some behavior of uh, people you know because the people will not like the job what they are doing they like the job of the other peoples and due to that many problem happen and that is the reason this was also i consider as a key behavior aspect always follow the correct procedure as mentioned in the sop or batch record so many times we discuss this thing then the point is why it is a part of key behavior yes it is a part of key behavior because you know the point is sometimes the procedures are revised but some people are working in the area since long so they feel that i am doing this activity since 15 20 years 40 years and uh, you are telling me today so due to their over confidence or you can say their 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 uh, uh, working since long they may not refer the sop and they may uh, they may follow the wrong practices so always when you are dealing with such a type of people who are old age you need to take them under confidence that why this is important why we are discussing this thing and why there is a change in the procedure why we need to do the change that is the way we need to ex uh, explain so that uh, you know uh, they will understand the things so basically this type of following the correct procedures are with respect to the different behavioral problems so there are so many diff this type of problems some are Uh, you know the some people have the even the psychological conditions also so you need to evaluate but most of the time to develop the behavioral skills uh, you know you need to make the people under confidence in case of the revision in the document and explain them why we are revising this what is the purpose what is the benefit we will get it from revising revising the document and following the revised procedure that way we need to take them under the confidence always record any required information directly on to the formal documentation at the time of collection of the data basically you know this is we all are aware okay we all are aware this thing this is not a new thing i am telling you but now how it is with the behavior you are giving this training to the all people that hey whenever you want to record anything always record on the formal documentation at the time of collecting the data so you are providing the training but still why the people are not following this why people are not following this so there may be some 
different type of people you need to evaluate some people may not like you as a boss but as the person is working in the organization he has to respect you that's it so the that is the reason he just will listen to you but he will not follow you that may be the possibility i am telling about the behaviors okay different people's behavior why the people will do these things because this is a simple thing but still why people are doing this thing sometimes the people want to show that they know everything you are not the person who can teach me so this way sometimes the people may have some people may develop some ego problem or some people may have some over confidence problem or some people may feel that you you came in the organization just now and you are teaching me so due to this type of thoughts of different people you need to evaluate why the person is having this type of behavior and then you need to make that person in confidence and then when the goal of you 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 speak with that person and ensure, and you explain that the goal of you and me and this person everybody's goal is the same we need to work on the same goal to achieve the same goal then definitely the person will follow the instructions given by you these are some examples you know i am just touching upon with respect to the how the uh, you know uh, what are the key behaviors are there never make any unapproved modifications or changes in the process or equipment again this is with respect to the again the behavior that many people will uh, you know uh, not uh, inform the senior people about any changes or modifications because they know that if you tell to the senior people then they will tell that okay raise a change control fill the everything perform the risk assessment then take the approval take informed uh, take the qa approval and everything and everything so to avoid all these activities the people may not inform you so you need to think of that why there is the behavior of these people why people are when you identify the point ki people are not following the change control procedure let us say example when you come to know that the people are not following the change control procedure then you need to verify why the people are hesitant to raise the change control why the people are not able to follow the change control practices then you will come to know that there are some problems with respect to the procedure with respect to the uh, with respect to the approval from the different cross functional team with respect to the process and then you can take the appropriate action to develop the good behavior of the person now here the person is interested to do the things but the maybe the person may be allotted with a lot of job or the the person may get confused with the change control procedure or there are lot of documentation activities in the change control procedures which takes lot of time of the person so that that may be the reason so you need to evaluate and you need to support that person this way you can improve the behavior of that type of people you can uh, you know take this example in a, any different way also always report to your supervisor immediately any mistake or anything that appears unusual about the activities or task you are performing this way you should inform to all this is simple thing right that any problem any mistake inform but whether the they are informing us that is what we need to evaluate see i am giving the training to the person ki hey any mistake you do i am giving training to my subordinate let us see the example okay i am giving training to my team ki hey anyone make the mistake don't be afraid inform me but is it only acceptable it is only enough no i need to evaluate i need to verify that how many people are reverting back me about the mistakes suppose in my team there are 10 people are there and not a single person is reverting returning back to me about the mistake 
that means that there is a lack of transparency and there is a wall between the leader and the uh, team that wall need to break that wall need to break the point is when the people are working in the area definitely there will be errors always there will be some errors small big errors whatever 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 mistakes will be there because the people are the human being and not a god so human makes the mistake and still after giving the instruction to all people or the team that if any problem or any mistake is there then you inform me or any unusual you observe you inform me and still nobody is reverting to me that indicates that there is a problem between me and them there is a big wall between both of us my team and me and i need to evaluate how i can break the wall help to reduce eliminate variability as it has imp impact on you now hope you are getting my point what i am explaining you now i want to discuss about the variability and as per this the requirement is help to reduce or eliminate variability as it has an impact on you so always when we are giving training to the people okay any wrong thing you report me any different thing is there modifications are there changes are there you follow the change control practice okay i agree with you you provide you are providing perfect training but only maintaining the final quality specification of the product is not enough we should now train to the people and this is the fda expectation also huh? that we have to identify the potential causes of variability or we have to identify the causes which can lead to the variability now the point is variability means what what is mean by variability so very simple in simple word you know the variability nothing but the in our language easy language is the deviation difference difference means deviation what we call it so for example i have given one example here suppose there is a process if we go straight we will get the product a right but if we not follow the exact procedure or we just make some change we make some difference or we do some deviation then we will get product b means what we will get the product a only but it will have some different properties than the product original product a you are getting my point so you will not get the same quality of the product what you are supposed to get it and this is nothing but the variability and nowadays as per the uh, you know the fda guideline for process validation this variability is very very important so not only following the gmp good manufacturing procedures not following the different activities and all not only complying to the uh, final product with respect to the quality specification is important but in addition to that we have to inform or we have to train all people about the variability and train them how to eliminate the variability because it it can impact on you hope you got the point about the variability because we normally uh, not uh, focus on these aspects so that is the reason i just touch upon with respect to the behavior of uh, aspect of this variability and the next is if any doubt ask always remember that each person is having a different thought process different mental condition and different uh, memory so when we are giving the instructions to a group of people at a time don't assume that everyone will have the same understanding everyone will have a different understanding let me tell you my dear friends when you give the only one instruction to all people 
when you give uh, only one instruction to all people different people will have the different understanding so when you are giving any instruction you have to give another instruction that if any question is there please ask i always recommend that when you are giving some specific instructions to the team then please make a use of the board whatever instructions you are giving go on writing all the instructions on the board 1 2 3 4 5 6 because suppose the some team member may not understand when you explain the person uh, explain to them so if they want to confirm they can come back and they can just go through the board and they can just recollect and they can confirm some people may have some internal confusion if this is the case they can also come to your cabin and they can see the board and they can again uh, you know the remember what you told so this way you can reduce or eliminate the variability in the process or in the activity and uh, of course you need to tell all people that if any questions they have they can they need to ask but as many people will be shy they may not uh, you know ask uh, they may not uh, <coughs> sorry they may not uh, contact you they may not ask you so you need to make some alternate provision like writing on the board or something like that display book or something like that the next key behavior you know it may change or it may impacted due to the incorrect job description and incorrect reporting structure if the job description is incorrect there may possibility that the same responsibility is given to the multiple people and then the one person will under, will think that the second person will do the activity second person will think that the third person will do activity and nobody will do the activity and can lead to the problem now the what is the what is the reason of this problem is the behavior and second is organogram sometime what happened due to the incorrect organogram and incorrect reporting structure it may lead to the you know the uh, it may lead to the developing the wrong uh, behavior of the person the initially the behavior of the person may be good but due to the incorrect reporting structure or the incorrect organogram uh, you know the behavioral uh, may you you may lose the good behavior of the person for example the somebody may be reporting uh, to the boss since last 10 year and suddenly there may be some other team members in between to direct the boss and the, and the reporting structure is different the person who was reporting earlier to direct boss he will report to some other person and the other person will direct report to the main boss so in that case you need to just evaluate whether due to this uh, reporting structure or a uh, change in the organogram whether the behavioral will uh, behavior of the people will change or will impact on the behavior or not second thing with respect to the job description whether the job description is clear or not that also we need to evaluate so that it should not lead to the developing the bad behavior because we need to make develop the good behavior at the same time we we should control the people who have the good behavior otherwise there may possibility that the people who have the good behavior and right attitudes so their behavioral may change you are getting my point their behavior may change so that is the reason you need to ensure that uh, the people who have the right behavior good behavior they should maintain their behavior same way so that is the way you know you can ensure by uh, having the correct uh, job description and organogram these are the major reasons there are lot of other reasons also but these are the major reasons i am uh, discussing here the next key behavior with respect to the data integrity breaches always i tell that there are two reasons when we discuss about the data integrity and as you are aware that data integrity is a very very important topic nowadays so there are only two reasons 
which due to which you know the, there will be breach of data integrity one is the technical another is the human and when we discuss about the uh, human involvement or human cause as a part of the data integrity then here the behavior of that human plays very important role very important role so there are lot of uh, human uh, you know the errors due to the possibilities of error due to human based on the behavior of course if it is a intentional then you know you can take a disciplinary action if it is intentional uh, behavior intentional to harm the product or intention to harm the product or all then you know you can take a disciplinary action but whether it is unintentional then you have to evaluate that what are different behavior and how and how they are uh, you know uh, how due to the different behavior it is it can lead to the data integrity so that you can control the data integrity issue hope you are getting my point about uh, you know the uh, in the data integrity the behavioral plays a behavioral plays a very important role so i was discussing about the gowning and here are some examples of uh, you know the behavior now see you can see here the person followed the gowning he used the apron mask cap very good but here whether the behavior is right no behavior is not right that is the reason you can see the you know i put the arrows person following the gowning but not in the correct way it it is due to the wrong behavior and we have to make the person aware that why we need to follow that gowning what is its importance and how it will lead to the ensuring the quality of the product you're getting my point you can see from the uh, you know the arrows also so like the person you are is using the watch and not properly or the cap the uh, you know the sleeves are not uh, you know sleeves are folded and uh, you know so many things are there you can see the mask is not properly worn and all so these are the uh, part of the behavior hope you are getting my point now the management has provided the procedure management had provided the training management provided the uh, all the different uh, clothing for the gowning requirements but how to follow that is based that depends on the person hope you are getting my point and it is very clear and very important message i want to tell you that always remember that whatever you are doing the activity get it right that's it whatever you are doing activity get it right first time that's it don't depend on the other person that the person will come and verify and identify the problem no i am doing any activity focus that it is right if somebody second person comes and check the and identifies the problem that is the additional be benefit for me but i should not depend on the other person who is inspecting my product who is checking my product who is checking my record who is checking my operation no whatever i am doing i should do in the first uh, i should write in the first time and who is responsible to do that who is responsible to develop the good behavior who is responsible to follow the gmp or who is responsible to follow the correct practice in the correct way in the correct time is me that means what it starts with always me that everyone should understand this whatever you are doing whatever you are committing it starts with me so this message should be given across all levels hope the message is clear to all of you and finally thank you thank you so much it's a vote of thanks that you attended this training thank you if you have any questions you can uh, put in the chat box
I will revert back to you. If you uh, now there are a lot of questions are there, so I will revert the questions. You are getting the answers also. Any other than after this also, if you have any questions or other training sessions, if you are interested, you can go to this YouTube channel, Hitendra Kumar Shah, and you can access the multiple videos to learn and uh, uh, any questions in future also you can uh, raise through the YouTube platform and um, this is absolutely free so you can even uh, subscribe so that uh, you will get the notification from the next videos and now I am uh, planning to have a, uh, trainings or free webinars on all the good practices like now this is the uh, good behavioral practices training we discuss after that my plan is to have a good review practice good uh, audit trial review practices good uh, auditing practices good so many good practices good engineering practices i am having i, I am going to conduct all these different uh, trainings uh, in this uh, period so every week i will have the one training always so uh, that is the reason i was telling you that you can subscribe this youtube channel so that uh, you will get the notifications about the next trainings also Thank you. Thank you so much. If you have any questions, please put you in the chat box. I will revert back to you. Thank you so much and ensure all time compliance. Thank you. Thank you.